My name is Erin Kay and welcome to my channel. I am a product designer based out of the United States. This video is short and sweet to the point. I'm showing you how to use this template to create cool mock-ups that you can put on your case studies and portfolios so that you have that added visual element that gets people excited and showcases your projects beautifully. Let's get into it. I've opened up the file. So when you look over here in the left-hand panel, this is called the layers panel and you will be able to navigate through this template via the layers panel, the right side panel, for those that might not know, is called the design panel, and that's where you can see the specs of the elements, the fonts, the colors, all of the things that live on the layers and frames. We move into how to use. If you guys come into this page, you will see a little bit about where to start, how to use these, and a step-by-step -step walkthrough. I will just go ahead and jump straight into the iPhone mockups. Okay, so up here, you have your main components. This little diamond showcases that these are component screens and these will dictate what appears in all of these mock-ups. They're labeled by number and you have your two different styles. You have a outline and then like a little phone mock-up outline. So these are not full-blown iPhone mock-ups. They're more so to highlight your design and look nice on your cover images. So I did not feel the need to create an entire app to show you guys. Instead, I just searched on community file, Airbnb mobile. I love Airbnb's app. So I decided I would just use someone's little clone and it looks like this one works. Okay, so cool. They have this entire Airbnb laid out. I don't know what year this is from. I don't know how today it is, but I'm just using it as an example. These screen sizes are not the screen sizes we want. So I'm going to grab some cool looking screens from this Airbnb. I'm just going to hold down shift and grab some of the different screens. I'm grabbing ones with visuals because I think that those are always nice, pull people in. And then I'll also grab some examples of like the booking flow, the map, so what you would do for your own project, you could basically showcase an entire flow with one of these mockups, or you could just highlight the key features, which is usually what I do is I try to highlight the key features. Here, I'm honestly just having fun and picking random screens. I think I need about 10 screens. And I'm picking shorter screens as well because I, I don't want that one, because I know that the mockups are gonna cut off a lot. All right, so I was holding down shift as I was choosing each of those screens. Now on my MacBook, I'm holding down command C, that's copy. I'm going to come into my mockups page and I'm going to press first things first, I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to come into my mockups and I'm going to press command V that will paste all of these. But, oh no, they're all over the place. Let me see if I can fix that. No, they've already been re-highlighted. So I'm gonna go onto my layers panel. Let me make myself smaller. And I'm going to find all of those that I just grabbed. I'm gonna highlight them. I'm going to bring them all to line up. I pressed this on my layers panel. It brought everything to the top one. I did not press them to the screen. Okay. And then I'm also going to take them and I'm just going to auto layout them really quick so that they're closer together and then I'll un-auto layout them. Okay, so let's take these screens and come bring them down to our component. Now, the size of our components are 375 by 812, which is an old iPhone X or I think now it is the iPhone 13 mini 375 by 812 and you can see that here on the design panel when I press frame I go into my design panel and it shows me all of the phone options same for tablet etc but these designs are 390 by 844 what I could do is I could edit all of these so that they're larger and I could stretch them I could stretch them out and that would impact these images but instead I'm just going to scale down my designs so that they fit that size I'm gonna highlight them all, press K on my keyboard, and I'm gonna bring them down to 375. I'm gonna get them as close to 375 as I can. Press V on my keyboard. This is locked, which means that it's going to affect my designs proportionally. <laughs> the reason I started with K, which is the scale command on my keyboard, is that by scaling, I'm going to maintain the integrity of the proportions of my fonts and images and stuff really, really well. Sometimes when you just hold shift and you try to like scale down by holding shift, it can mess up 
fonts and things just get a bit awry. So I use my scale tool to get as close as possible. And then, although I will say, I'm pretty sure that these are, yeah, these are images. The thing that I pulled from it was images, which would be another option is to export all of your screens as images so that you don't distort anything when you're scaling down. Like this one is a design frame. That's an alternative option to trying to scale down frames, Figma frames, because you could distort something, is just export them from your main file as images. So export as a PNG and then reload them into your new iPhone mockup file so that things don't get distorted. But I just went and copy and pasted and then I got them as close to that 375 by 812 that I could. So let's see, I'm going to just command it to be 812 because it's probably just like a couple decimal points off and they look good. They don't look messed up at all here. And then I'm gonna start pasting them into my screens. Okay, so I clicked on screen one and then here in the layers panel, I'll go into screen one and I will press command V. And then I will go <laughs> into my design panel, center myself and center myself again. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of these. Actually, I can just drop these in. So I'm just dropping these images into the screens and then I'm centering them and putting them in the middle. And remember, because they're the same size as my component screens, they'll line up when I use that shortcut. Perfect, okay, voila, there's the magic. So when I come down here, you can see that it's populated to all of these child components. Awesome. Looks really good, right? Okay, so let's say that I want to go in and edit. So I want a screen that has three images, but there's some repeat images here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this screen, put myself over here, and then here's the thing, highlight, I need to expand my frame and then choose the layer that has the component diamond. And then on the right hand design panel, you'll see screen and you'll have your numbers. So I'll choose the number of the screen I want displayed. So let's say I want my map screen displayed. That's screen nine. I will choose screen nine and it auto populates. So when you originally click the screen, that first click, it will not show you the component options on your design panel. You need to come over here and drill into your layers and choose that component layer. And then you can edit the screen that's showing. Okay, so that's how to do style one. When it comes to editing our style two here, when you click on your screen, it will highlight in the layers panel what layer that is. But because style two has a couple more elements to it because it has these outlines, you'll need to expand your layers. We'll pretend it's completely retracted. So we're gonna expand and then keep expanding until you find the layer that's literally titled place your screen here and you're going to double click and press paste to replace and then line it up in our design panel. Okay, I'll do that a few more times. So I'm gonna come into here, I'm just gonna grab the image. I'm gonna go into screen two with the outline. I'm going to drill down on my layers and then I'm gonna to go to place your image here, paste to replace. Drill down. Oh, let's go ahead and grab another image. Oh, I have a repeat. I didn't realize that. Okay, I'm gonna grab my image, go down to screen four, expand my layer, frame, expand, place your screen, paste to replace. This says place your screen below but you can just paste on this layer here. You don't need to drill all the way down. It works to just paste right there on that layer. Okay, so I've done a handful of those. Let's go check our style two screens. So those are the screens with frames. Super cool. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna see if I can change some of these. So I'll highlight it. It pulls up this component editing on my design panel. Cool. All right, so we're rocking and rolling here. Now, a few other ways that you can edit this and make it all your own is to come in and say you, so like this frame, for instance, has a shadow on it. Move myself out of the way. It has all these drop shadows on it and say that you wanted this one to have the same 
really quick, I'm going to turn this into a shadow. Oh, I guess that actually won't work because this is not. And you have, sh you can see that this frame has a drop shadow on it. Well, maybe you like that effect. You're going to copy properties, choose this screen. I want my drop shadows on this screen and I am going to paste properties. And that will give me that cool drop shadow effect. There you have it. So go ahead and use this template, edit it however you need for your case studies. My favorite thing to do is to use the screens that have a handful of frames on it and use that in my case studies as like the header image to really draw people in right away and get them excited about the application. But yeah, you can use these for dribble, for case studies, for your website. The possibilities are endless. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and I will address them for you guys. That's how you use this template to create beautiful highlight images for your case studies. I will link the template in the description box below. If you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel. Any videos that you guys would like to see, drop them in the comment section below. I want to make them for you. I hope that this helps and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you soon. Bye.